We're at the castle of, of Milo Potamos on the island of Kithara. I knew this was here, but I didn't think it was quite as impressive as it is. It's abandoned, Byzantine settlement, who knows how far back, four, five, six hundred years. This may be one of the main buildings. And it's quite nice. A lot still standing, but you know, obviously in ruined state. We'll just take a quick tour. Very nice. You can see the uh, Venetian lion up ahead, up, up on top of the roof. Right there. So obviously it was from the Venetian era. Some more structures there. Do a quick peek inside. Um, sign says uh, it's nobody intending this, so you enter at your own risk. So, hopefully, nothing falls in on me. Go inside here. Uh, not much for signs other than some of the churches. Up there, some structures, more buildings. And you know, still standing after centuries, but, you know, certainly not uh, livable. Lots of little rooms. Swing around. Little streets here. More buildings to the left. Uh, not really telling us what they are. I'm assuming houses, shops, things like that. And we'll continue on. Little low doors here. I don't know if the people were shot back then or is this the way they built things? The only signage is for some of these churches. Uh, they seem to have taken some care and at least doing some restoration. Up there, Let's see the bell tower. Can't get in. It's a building there. I think it's part of the church, but the roof is collapsed, so I'm not going too deep into it. And we'll continue on. There's old walkways here. The stone walls. It's up ahead are some spectacular views and scenery. Just keep going along here. A couple more churches right there. A little more uh, better condition. But let's go over this way and take a look at the views. I mean, there's the Aegean. Just down below are these gorges and ravines that are uh, straight off, so make it hard for invaders to come from this direction because it's a big drop. See the scenery all around. Over in the distance, that white structure is a church built into the side of the hill over there. It's across the ravine. And down below, so, yeah, I don't want to get too close to the edge. And we'll see if we can zoom in a little bit. A bit breezy today. It makes it comfortable. And right next to me, another church. And some more views. Looking across to the church over there. Bright white, can't miss it. 
But I guess back in the day, it wasn't that color because it would stick out like a sore thumb and pirates or invaders would see it. So, fairly recent times, it was painted probably once it reached its independence from the Turks. But you can see the location. Quite impressive, all around. Easy here. The camera might be picking up the sound of the wind instead of my voice, but hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, we'll walk down a bit. See the rocks and cliffs over there. The ravine down below, a long way down. It's like a gorge there, a ravine of sorts. Might go all the way to the uh, the coast, but uh, quite impressive. Down below, greenery. Possible stream down there, hard to say, because this area does have a lot of streams and springs. But you can see the terrain here. Over that way, a mountain. It looks like pristine. Nothing's been done to it for years, if ever. And looking back to the church, must have been a continuous wall here at one time, just for uh, you know keeping people from falling off. Parts of it have collapsed or fallen in. Another wall over there, maybe just for extra protection. More stones everywhere. The church we were just at a couple minutes ago. There's another view of that Iasos uh, Ionesis Church. Must have been one continuous thing at one time. You can see the slate roof and the stones. Must have been plastered at one time and whitewashed, but uh, over the centuries it's uh, probably uh, fell off and this is how it is before it was all finished. Another wall and structure there. Uh, maybe a lookout tower of some sort. Again, no, no signage down below the ravine. Uh, around over the old buildings, and churches. Okay, we'll head back. Uh, little walkways here. Up the left, probably walls to keep anybody out just in case they could make it up those cliffs, but I doubt it. Uh, it's amazing so much of this is still standing. You know, it's been centuries ago, but a lot of these sites that you come and see, there's really not a whole lot left. Uh, just usually like walls or foundations, but uh, a little more intact here. Okay, we're gonna head back. Um, I saw this in the guidebook, but the guidebook never said just how impressive it was, and this might be one of the best sites I've seen on the island. Um, really amazing that uh, not a whole lot was uh, said about this. All right, we're back to the parking area. View around to the hills, whatever structure that was. And, you know, just outside of it is the modern village. You can see people's cars and so forth. And up ahead is the, uh, the entrance to this place. So if you're in Kithara, this is a must-see if you're a history buff. Even if not, it's quite impressive. Beautiful location and uh, definitely worth a visit.